Hey guys, uh, the reason why I titled this Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll was just pretty much wants to grab your attention, but talk about all three, but I'm going to keep this video really brief. Um, I'm not going to really quote a lot of scriptures in this one. Let's look at some of my other messages, but it's going to break it down for you. Um, the sex piece. Why is there so much sexual deviant stuff going on? From abortion, LBGT, uh, pornography. Why? Do any of those produce life? No, abortion is death, murder. I get it. But why? I'm going to go to the why on this one. And that's one of my other messages. Why are we doing what we do? Is it for the enemy, the devil, or is it for God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word? So, he wants to just, the why behind this one is he wants to destroy God's image. So everything's dirty, <laughs> filthy, no life. <clears throat> you know, that was kind of a mantle when I was a kid, guys that grew up in the 70s, okay? It's the God of self-pleasure, pleasure, pleasure you know, it's all about pleasure, and if it's, it's inconvenient, so people have an abortion. I mean, look at a lot of the reasons why they have the economic stuff, and there's just a myriad of, of, of excuses and reasons for it, and everybody jumps in the bandwagon with it. <clears throat> look at my video on how God sees abortion and concern, and how God sees abortion in America. Okay, not good at the beginning, but the solution is good. The body of Christ is good. We need to quit slapping labels on people and calling them, you know, murderers. Because it is, yes. But it's just one sin, the sin of fornication, out married, usually out of wedlock, pretty much. Think about it, most of it. Just the pleasure of it. <clears throat> not not caring that it, that it could produce a life. And then if they do, it's like, oops. God of convenience, another selfish God, all wrapped up, twisted up. But we as a body need to step in and help these people. That's the message that I put out there about how God sees America concerning abortions. The church has dropped the ball, guys. You don't do anything but bark and scream and yell and debate and drama and stuff. But what are we really doing? change those people's lives the mother the child the baby don't forget the dad so that's that piece because he's after our image because he wants to do whatever he can to destroy our relationship with god taint it dirty it muddy it up it's after that life guys just look at my other messages on YouTube. Then the drugs. Guys, like I said, I grew up in the 70s. When I was in, in high school, you sold, if you sold pot, you went to jail. Sometimes even federal jail. Sometimes you did some hard time. Now, p pick different states. Go to California. You, UPS will ship it to you in two days. You get a um, like a menu there, a Chinese place. You can just pick what you want. Different kind of buds and all that other stuff, you know? Why? It's after your mind. You can throw alcohol in there too. And pharmaceutical stuff, you know? Big one. We just kind of, they make a lot of money. I saw one article, a hundred million, maybe even more, a bunch of um, Oxycontin sent to these different states. It's like, man, guys, you see it all the time on the news. It's all blown up out of, not out of proportion, it's just all blown up. Why? Because he's out to destroy your mind. He can't destroy your life through an abortion or through some kind of sexual deviant behavior or stop you. Then he's after your mind. He block you from even thinking about, like, like it says, think on these things. What's over pure, lovely, holy, acceptable, you know, all the good things of God. Getting in the Bible, digging in the Word, listening to God. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. It's after your mind. <clears throat> Wants to block it through 
internet, media, jobs, but drugs, and they can really pollute you and twist you and distort you. Most people agree, you know, when their people are really whacked out on that stuff, they do some pretty crazy stuff. Well, alcohol destroys and dilutes your mind too, guys, honestly. I know people say a glass of wine or whatever is okay. Usually leads to more, generally. Maybe not. So, won't necessarily go down that rabbit hole, but, you know, you, get, you can read between the lines on what I'm saying with that. So he's after your mind. It could destroy you, your life, so you can destroy your mind. And then the rock and roll. I'm watching it all the time, guys, on the internet, different churches. He, you know, what, did he, what was he in heaven? Worshipper. So don't you think he can kind of weasel in on this music stuff that people claim to be worship music? Man, guys, I watch plenty of them. I try not to watch hardly any of them. To a minute, maybe not even really. Looks like a rock concert to many guys. Who, the Who was my favorite band before I got saved and Led Zeppelin I saw him before that guy that got killed in the plane crash. A stage, lights, dark room. Sometimes it's fog and smoke. It's a show, guys. It's not worshiping him in spirit and in truth. And I've got some songs that really have touched me, guys. Honestly, guys. Some, one that carried me through a horrendous time in my life when I was a prodigal son. <clears throat> I don't, I need to, maybe somebody can, you know, help me and tell me the, help me to find the words to the song, but it was, Someone left a cross for me just like they left for you. Is the only words I remember of it, but I was going to try to look it up. I'm not that good technically and all that stuff, so help me, guys, if you can. But it's portrayed as something it's not. You can read between the lines on this, guys, okay? This may open up a little bit of a a box that people don't want to really realize, but, you know, we're up against demonic forces if we don't get our mind on him, keep our mind on him. So it's just another form of mind control and getting us off into something that's not, some kind of surreal moment and stir up stuff. It's stirring up stuff, all right, guys. There's probably, honestly, probably a reason why I'm sure there's natural reasons for it too, and I'm not, I'm not discounting the the hurt and the anguish and the pain and the suffering and even the death that came from this. But all these fires in Australia, guys, even though they're in the natural, I think there's something to it because a lot of this garbage music is coming out of that, out of that, and all this mega mania cultural garbage. People, you know, they think they can slap a label on it and call it God. You know, hoodwink them. Add a little bit of Jesus to it or something. And everything's all right. It's not all right, guys. It's all self, God, self-indulgent, self-pleasure, it's self-will, self-entertainment, self-gratification with the sex piece. Self-indulgence, same with the drugs. I'm just gonna do it anyhow. I don't care what happens to my family. Look at people when they get messed up on cocaine or crack, and they just man, they were one day or even painkillers. You know, I know people that were very successful in banking or different industries. I'm not to name names, but man, they got a car wreck or some kind of sports accident, and their life turned upside down because they had back problems. And got hooked on hooked on painkillers. So that one, some of those are subtle sometimes, okay? But sometimes it's just us wanting to do it. And then after a while it becomes us just wanting to do it. So it's God, God, it's God of self in this guys. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's a mess. 
It's time to break loose of those chains and those cycles and lay aside those idols that are destroying your life because they separate you from God. The last piece I was talking about, about the music and stuff, how they, you know, they shows and they slap a label on it and say it's God. No different than this is one more idol, but the idol of money. We put in God we trust in the back of the dollar bill and think we've done something awesome and great. And, you know, God's going to just bless, bless this land because we used his name. Kind of almost used it in vain, guys, a little bit. Look at the dollar bill. I probably got one in my pocket. Weird pyramid with the whoopsing eye. You hear all kinds of crazy crackpot conspiracy theories and stuff on that, too. But it's pretty weird. Some pretty weird looking stuff, guys. You can just tell it's demonic stuff. And some of the stuff that's said in the Freemasons and all that other garbage. Not much different in the music industry, guys, of that. And we just twisted it, distorted it. Isaiah 27, one would work right here. It's that twist of Leviathan spirit. Can't see twist you in the sexual deviant behavior. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we need to pray for Franklin Graham because he's one of the few. There is others that are saying, but he's staying, man. He's like right in the middle of that firestorm. Getting hit right between the eyes by that crazed... LGBT, or, yeah, I don't even know how to say that properly, sorry. <laughs> Move. The mind, man, drugs are just out of control. Well, guys, guess what? We bark about Mexico and all these other places pumping drugs into this country. Well, guess what? If we didn't have an unsatisfied viable appetite for it, insatiable, whatever you want to say. If if we didn't have that demand for it, they wouldn't have a market for it. Self. You know? It's gonna do it. Do I don't care what it does to anybody else or I mean I'm just gonna do it. Self. Music's no different. Man, I was a guy that used to live down the street, three, four in the morning, cranking his music, driving down the street. A lot of, I did it too, you know, guys, okay, I'm not, <clears throat> same thing when I was a kid in the late 70s. Blasting the music. <clears throat> Surreal, stirring up stuff, stirring the pot, all right. Not, not even anywhere close to worship. A lot of it, guys, it's just hogwash that the enemy used to try to capture the younger generation. A lot of music for some few people found a scheme in it to, to actually create something that's not there that never was intended to be. So then suddenly they got power and wealth over it. And then they try to try to hoodwink God and slap God, a label of God on it. It's a... You know, it's kind of almost, almost, guys, it's almost a mockery of them, of the cross. I'm not saying music is. I'm not saying worship is. But they that worship it must worship it in spirit and in truth. And of course, I'm not listening to a little bit different music. You know, I'm almost 60. Of course, my music is going to probably, I you know, might even offend some of the younger people. You know, it's just, it is different. Okay, I mean, that's not what I'm saying. Really take a look at it, guys. You'll see what I'm saying. So anyhow, we love you. Those are just three gods. And the reason why I'm saying this, look up the video. There's a storm coming to America. It's coming, guys. It's been just exactly like what the Lord... It hadn't happened yet, but it's happening just like the Lord showed me because in the dream I had several days before 8-11... And hadn't had a year yet. Told me it was going to hit me and my wife first. This was like 8, 6, 8, 7. And free fall, storms, bottom fell out. Way more to it than I'm kind of sharing this video. Exactly like you said. He's already calmed some of the storms. 
several of them. So I'm not, you know, I'm not, I wasn't even worried anyhow. But it did highlight some things, some sin in my life, one part of it, some sin in others, another part of it, some demonic activity, another part of it. But the end result is awesome. God is God. Jesus and Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, and the Word's the Word. So just stick with that, guys. This, the storms that are coming, it's going to be choice time, decision time. Make a choice. That's what he told me. He says, not going to destroy this country. But then when he gave me the date, he said it's going to be 8-11-2020 to 9-11-2020. whole month. So I'm telling you now, to get you prepared, there's a storm coming, and these idols got to go, as they've separated us from the love of Christ, who is going to bring us into the love of the Father, through the blood of the Lamb. This is all plan, guys, for the redemption of mankind, us to come back into the garden with Him. But these idols are got, have gotten in the way. <clears throat> Maybe many more. There's many more, I'm sure. But so we love you guys. Um, you can email me at Jesus is Alive at gmail.com. You can blog Jesus is Alive in America.com. Look us up Facebook, Instagram. I don't even like that, guys, because that can become that, that's an idol, too. All this self entertainment garbage and YouTube and Facebook and all this stuff. <clears throat> but that's what he told me to do. So I'm just being the ob obedient in it. I don't want the sensationalism. And I'm, I got checked a couple times. One by a really good young man in our church. Our old church. And one by just somebody that just I wouldn't have thought it would have come from him, you know, kind of. But so it's like I got so I kind of checked my Facebook stuff a little bit because I was like, you know, I'm starting to drift into that stuff too. The sensationalism, the, the shazam, the just, you know, so that can be another aisle, guys. <clears throat> Entertaining the flesh with just the computer and the stuff. And man, that's a whole other area. Just go in any store, mall, restaurant, school, whatever. Everybody's got a cell phone, even the little kids. Nobody's talking. Everybody's got their head up there behind with the with the phone. Crazy people driving store. I saw one post. I laughed. It said, "Turn, turn up the turn up the speaker. Turn them on. Put them on speakerphone because I want to hear the other side of the story." You know, people just be blabbing about the nonsense. Like, man, guys can't even set that stuff down. So these idols got to go, guys. So we love you. Um, and just love you. So let me know. Comment. I don't care if you, you know, if it's hate mail or whatever. I don't care. You know, let's talk about this stuff, guys. Get it out there. Spit it out. Good and bad. The good, bad, the ugly. Let's just get it out there. So... I'm going to get out the good, though. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.